let's create simple Sandy application in Flash 9. First, let's get latest Sandy sources using Tortoise SVN. Navigate to download section of Sandy website. Scroll down to version 3 and proceed to its dedicated page. Locate link to Google code repository. Navigate to source folder and then to Sandy folder. Copy link from browser link bar. Now, create a folder for your project. Inside, make another folder named Sandy. In its context menu, select Checkout. Paste the address and click OK. And again, you now have the latest version. Go back to your project folder and create new action script and flash source files called Demo1. Open Flash and set Demo1 as your document class. Open Action Script and Flash and enter code for class demo 1. It's time to have some fun. Create Sandy World Instance. Set its container to demo 1 instance to get it on stage. Make a camera. Make a group to add your objects to. Make any object and set its appearance to any material. For example, wireframe material. Add both object and camera to scene group and place it into world root property. Hit Ctrl Enter to test the movie. Note this compiler errors tab, they are your friends, they tell you what is missing in your code. To make them go away, locate every undeclared class in Sandy folders, then import into our package, like this. Hit Ctrl Enter to test the movie. Okay, why doesn't show me a thing? because we did not wrote any code to point a camera to our object and render it. Also, the stage is empty and its dimensions are both zero. Let's fix it by making some nice background. Hit Ctrl Enter to test the movie. <laughs> now, let's get some copyrighted image and save it to project. Import straight to the library. In bitmap properties, check export for action script and replace dot in class name. Copy the class name. Replace material with bitmap material. Pass an instance of the bitmap in the library. Hit Ctrl Enter to test the movie. <laughs> How did I knew all those class names and parameters? Well, that's not voodoo magic, Sandy offers online documentation to anyone who wants it. I suggest you to use it.